The visual pricing system is an awesome tool, but there's some cases where there's issues that arise, a lot of times not by user error and not by the program itself, but by the integration between visual pricing and Microsoft Excel. Now, these can be frustrating, they can be annoying, but this video is going to help you and kind of show you how to get rid of the most common issues that tend to show up time and time again and cause an issue in your pricing homes. There are going to be some cases where you have to reactivate your program. This can happen when the system updates, when your subscription renews, or a couple other cases. So I just want to show you very quickly where to go to enter that activation code so that your system can work again easily. All we're going to do is go up here on the toolbar to settings, click that, and then this button here, activate product. Once you click this button, it will let you put in your new activation code and let you get going again. As you see, as you click this open here, you have your email, enter your email, and then enter your activation code that you will copy and paste or type in from your login on focusfirst.com. And then once you hit OK, it will store it and you'll be good to go and ready to use the program. One of the more frustrating and confusing errors that people tend to find is they can't use a program because the visual pricing tab is gone. You, you can't see the macros, you can't use the macros, those buttons don't exist. Where'd they go? How do I get them back? Now, first before I show you how to get them back, I'm going to tell you why this happens. In most cases it happens in Mac users, and what happens is you close the visual price system, but you never actually right click down here and quit the Excel program. If you don't quit Excel, sometimes this occurs and sometimes the macros don't show up. Now, you could just quit Excel, start over from scratch, that would work. But the other option is pretty simple too. If you click on Tools, then click Macro, and click Macros, it opens up this window. Now, before you select anything else and freak out about something, no, don't worry, it's very simple. I'm going to hit Cancel. And guess what? Our buttons are back. Our tab is here to click, and our buttons to navigate the program are restored. One of the more annoying things that can happen and one of the top common issues we run into is your graph shows up looking like this. This is not what you want your charts to look like at all. These graphs are meant to be in a landscape mode, but occasionally they show up in portrait. It's kind of annoying and a lot of times there's not really an easy fix to it. In this case, there's an easy fix in the moment where if you hit print or command P or control P if you're using a computer and it goes to print, if you hit cancel, it usually snaps right back to landscape and that's where you want to be. Now if this is an issue that keeps persisting, what you're going to need to do is quit Excel on the Mac or make sure you just close it completely for the PC. A lot of times if you just close the application, it doesn't actually end all the subroutines. So right clicking on the icon and selecting quit will actually close it and a lot of times fix this issue. Um, but there are cases where it happens a couple times in a row and then goes away. In order to get rid of that, act like you're going to print it and then hit cancel and it almost always comes back to here. Now the other few cases it doesn't come right back to this. You'll see it be portrait but you'll see the background have like a white landscape look to it. If you double click on the graph then the graph will snap right back to what it's supposed to be. A little bit of annoyance but sometimes Excel just gets stuck and we can get it right back to where it's supposed to be pretty easy.